So this is problem five from chapter five. And we have an inverting op amp um, that's ideal. And we have a um, 3.5 uh, 3 microamp current source going into the negative terminal. The positive terminal is connected to ground. The feedback resistance is 2.2 mega ohms. And um, we have a voltmeter. Um, and they want to know what will the voltmeter measure. So it'll measure what it'll measure is basically v, v out, and essentially the problem reduces to finding V out. And since it's an um, it's an ideal op amp, we know that Vn is equal to Vp. The Vp in this case is grounded, so that's zero volts. There's no current going to the negative terminal, and there's no current going into positive terminal either. So solving for v, Vn reduces to doing K, KCL or the node voltage method at the negative terminal. So node voltage at Vn, we can say current here, which is going to be this current, and it's a negative current since it's entering the terminal, negative 3.5 microamps plus zero volts minus V out over 2.2 mega ohms. And this current here is zero, so all that's equal to zero. So this leaves us, if we solve for V out, we'll have V out is equal to, bring this to the other side, becomes positive 3.5 microamps, right? And then we're going to multiply by 2.2. That's just basic algebra. And what we're going to get is, I bring there, this was negative, so we're going to get, and then we have to multiply by a negative. Okay? So this is just basic algebra. So far, we'll get negative 7.7 volts. So V out then is equal to negative 7.7 volts. But notice, when we're taking our voltmeter, we have the negative terminal on this end where the V out is and the positive terminal, where the negative terminal is, so the voltmeter, since its polarity is opposite to the V out, will, will be the opposite in polarity of the V out. So the uh, Vm then is going to be seven, positive 7.7 volts. And that is the answer.